Today is the extraordinary beginning of a new era. My name is Jared, and we will venture forth into the puzzly and ropey world of Fringer today, which I actually have a distinct memory of, I believe, completing the entire game, possibly not on the hardest difficulty, but on normal difficulty, when I was perhaps uh, very exhausted in a hotel room in Haifa. So if I recall correctly with the Paideia Institute, I actually did remember having some variety of educational trips, and sometimes they literally tried to cram as much programming into the day as humanly possible. This was not Paideia's doing, but rather the tour advisor, not the tour advisor, the tour company. And so this was, um, well, my opinion, I think it was actually really made in order to stifle any variety of critical thinking, but that's actually just my personal uh, chutzpah dick opinion. In any case, let's go ahead and show you this game here. And so, let's turn on the music and begin some fun times, shall we? Okay. Um, so far, the title BGM effectively was shut out, but effectively I've been having some issues with my computer. So, enough talk, enough thinking about music. Let's go ahead and have ourselves a read. Eliminate the ropes by untwisting the knots. When a rope is completely untwisted, it disappears. Use left arrow and right arrow to move the frame from side to side. Press spacebar to untwist or twist a knot. If you can't untwist a knot, try twisting or untwisting a different one. Well, this reads like a tongue twister. <laughs> And then go back to the first one. The slide bar pushes the knots down. Don't let a knot reach the bottom, otherwise that's game over. So as a kid, I had absolutely no idea how to play this game, and one thing I just simply did was that I just simply watched the game progress until the game over. But because at least it had good music, I actually was capable of tolerating that. What's more, I actually also have a distinct memory of uh, selecting the various levels. Okay, onto a sparkling knots to collect bonuses. Bonuses appear as small icons along the side of the rope field. The frame is under and off. You can't untwist, press 10. You are the most absurdly worded tutorial in the history of mankind. Then press spacebar to untwist the knot. Pressing tab uses one bonus point. Okay, and effectively we get national pistols here in order to give us some salvation. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Okay, so the story. Um, you can actually select the various levels from the... Uh, from the options screen, as I believe I might have done in the other series in the Microsoft Puzzle Collection. But another thing to note is the fact that since, uh, you know, I was a kid and I really wanted results, I just simply looked at all of the um, artwork for all of the levels, one after the other. Um, but interestingly, um, yeah, they, they tell a story that is um, not exactly the most creative you can imagine. Probably if falls of five dragons, princesses, castles. And uh, this is the very first stage of the journey you see here with Mr. Blonde Jesus Man, as, uh, has a variety of either it's a treasure or possibly spare parts required to maintain the ship in the event of an emergency. But uh, yeah, gee, this, this ship is in very bad shape. Okay, also I have no idea what um, ropes has to do with any of this, but. At least this music I have remembered with perfect clarity for decades, so... Alright. So, the colors are just simply going to keep multiplying, and the annoying little line thing is just simply going to continue to get more aggressive, because it has absolutely no understanding of what boundaries are. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we have a bunch of pistols, but I don't think that that's actually going to save us. Um, also, one thing that's very difficult about this game is that usually, yes, I know that there's a temptation to actually start from the level that you actually... Oh my gosh, I think I might be stuck, in which case I would need to press the tab button, and then I turn my uh, not thingy in the other direction. And um, so this ties into my other point. The fact is, is um, usually it's not the best idea to um, play the game on the hard difficulty immediately by virtue of the fact that you may actually require a lot of bonus points that ah now here we find ourselves and <laughs> you look like enviable real estate I want that castle I want it right now I want you to give me that castle give it to me so that I, I skipped over the tutorial because I was singing, whatever. I don't know what happens with that whole candle thing. It looks pretty cool. 
That that castle looks like it's built specifically for tax evasion. I was going to be singing about that, but uh, effectively I got shut off by the tutorial, who does not appreciate prime music. Um. Okay. This. Ay ay ay. So, discussion question. If you lived in that castle, what variety of changes would you think you would make to the surrounding area? I know that there's actually not a lot of information that this two-dimensional image provides, but feel free to get creative! So, that's your assignment for today. Um, what would you do with this castle? So, personally, I think that I would like to... I, I want a dragon on top. I don't know exactly how much dragons for hire would cost. In whatever economy you're really dealing with this fictional world that's significantly lacking in details, but uh ay So times like this that I wish I had uploaded another Magic the Gathering Forge video instead of this. <laughs> but uh yeah, the next video is gonna be significantly fun. I'm also a new video today, accounting to fifteen in Gilbertine. So yeah, it's very interesting. I don't know how many people do both let's play videos on language learning on the same channel, but uh, was actually, I had, I spoke to Ari in Beijing, who is a, um, how do I put it, he's a mentor of mine in the YouTube arts, and, uh, I actually said, do you think it would be an issue, maybe, if I were to actually put my channel into two, have two channels, one for language only, one for gaming, and he said, nah, keep it the same. Um, either that, or I could have actually dropped the entire interaction. I could actually look it up on Facebook Messenger, but I'm too lazy, and I'm in the middle of a game, which is probably more pressing right now. Okay, also, um, recommendations for games in the future. I would really, really appreciate that. Also, if there are any other games that I've done in the past, such as Super Munchers or Akhenator, that you would want to see more of, then I can definitely manage that. Also, if you have some challenges in mind, for example, um, how do I put it? I cannot make remarks about the music or snide remarks about the tutorial during the entire time, otherwise I need to close the video immediately then uh, that might actually be an interesting thing to watch. Okay. There are only so many interesting things you can say about a bunch of tangled ropes. But you know that this is what a creative personality does. They actually learn to see details, beauty, and everything, regardless of how mundane it really is. And then this is why we get, like, national break pops all day. I don't even know when that is. For all I know, it could be today. It would be funny if it were today. Okay, aye, 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 aye. Hello, Mr. Candle. I should actually know what you were doing, but I was too busy singing a song. And I seem to have neglected exactly what you were doing. Now, when I watch this video again, chances are I could actually pause it at the exact same frame that... Oh, this looks like fun. Um, and all these stupid sound effects cause me to lose my train of thought. This game is a metaphor for modern life in general. You cannot focus on anything at all. You always get distracted by cool and shiny, colorful things. Yeah. <laughs> life is like Fringer. Okay, for the longest time I actually felt that it was pronounced Fringer, especially as a kid. But interestingly, I think the reason why I found out that this wasn't the case was because of a TV advertisement about the... You! The TV advertisement in which this game was actually explicitly pronounced as Fringer. And. Alright, this music is annoying. At least it's not as annoying as the one for Mixed Genetics, which I'm probably gonna have to remake that video because the first one had bad sound quality. Uh, being a no novice YouTuber, you always really have to experiment with new things, and then sometimes even then you make some mistakes. Ah, uh, yes, and you can need that bonus point again. I have only. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I guess I have to get another bonus point. No, this is my last one. Don't disappoint me. Oh great, now I'm stuck. You might be stuck. I don't have any sparkle bonus icons. I can do this though. I can click it along with the music. And then I can't click it along with the music because how do I put it? The entire issue with the... Whatever that thing- Oh! For some odd reason, I got better. Okay, I'm not going to 
question and a variety of salvation from above. By salvation from above, I mean salvation via kinks of the computer code. So, I'll take what I can get. Okay, it's not a game over for me afterwards, and I guess... <sighs> Praise the Lord! Okay. Hello, Candle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have, I have absolutely nothing to do here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, oh man. That sounded increasingly ominous, and if I let that... That not if it reaches the bottom. No, 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 no. And it's game over for me. And this means that I'm not getting that castle, or for that matter, getting away from it. And then I will just simply have to be stuck in eternity with blonde Jesus and his crate of spare parts. A glorious day for a human. Ugh, stop it. Ay, uh, ay, yeah, ay, yeah, ay, yeah, ay, yeah, ay, yeah. ay. Oh, I got away. You look like you're in a sweatshop. You can use the paintbrush to change the color of the robes! Yeah! Press enter to change the colors, it might help. The colors change when the bar reaches the bottom. Okay, yeah, but... You look so unbelievably annoying. Okay, what happens if I press enter? Okay. I'm so tempted to think of improvisatory lyrics to this song. But I really should be focusing on the game, rather than thinking about what sort of musical creations I can bring about via my fevered imagination. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the paintbrush is annoying, at least it's significantly better. Wait, does each of the levels actually have, like, um, how do I put it, a theme related to, um, does each of the new levels have a new mechanic? You, I, I don't really want the blue thingies anymore. Okay, bye bye blue thingies. The paintbrush is annoying. Okay, what happens if I... Wait, what did I do? I didn't... No! What did, I, I have no idea what I did, but whatever. Oh, okay, so I think I understand how it works. The paintbrush is a one-time bonus. It's not like an ongoing effect. Alright, here I am. Don't worry, lady, I will save you. I'm going to make you... I'm gonna hire you, and I'm going to possibly give you a significant share of my own company as soon as you get out of that place. For some odd reason, you seem oddly fulfilled. I don't know why that is. Okay. Yet again, I'm not you. You have to answer that question. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, get the bonus thingies. Okay, bonus thingies. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it seems like I'm stuck again. Wonderful. Uh, and it seems that this little set of two lines has heard all of the nasty things I've been saying about him or her, as may be the case, and has decided to become significantly more aggressive and make my life more painful. But uh, to some degree, I think that the, the watchers, the people like you, might actually enjoy things if they get painful for me. Because I think in today's world of cheapened emotions and reduced expectations, I think a lot of people really enjoy watching other people get mad. But at least I managed to get mad in very interesting ways in comparison to maybe some other people who just simply have no other method for doing that aside from using the most profane words possible in global languages. And that's not exactly something that would be creative, original, or new. Okay. Okay, now here I am. Does not seem that this... Ah, yes! Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, there goes my last bonus point. Now, I hope I don't... Okay, congratulations, I screwed everything up. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, change the thing. I want to be turned around. I can't be turned around. Okay, I need to... Hello. I'm not being... Oh, whatever. Okay. There's... I can't... 
do or being an almighty pain. I guess, okay, so I guess this is the end. Sorry, lady, but you're not going to be joining my company. I'm afraid that I'm just simply going to have to languish here in this dungeon with you while you m manage to make a combination between a need and a Christmas tree. Uh, <laughs> and now, very interestingly, the current selection of not looks like a monster that's staring at me in the face. Oh, come on, I want, I, I what? I can't, no, I can't do anything. <gasps> my Cambodian teacher! Okay, you know what? I'm going to change my... Yeah, let's see. What? Well, somebody got a higher sc... <laughs> oh, no. He's been here before me, and for some odd reason, an uh, imposter Jared was here as well. Okay, so I think that's enough of knots and tunes and Christmas trees and Lord knows whatever else for today. There is going to be another episode, and let's see how many games I have still yet to play in the series. Okay, I'm probably going to do mixed genetics again. Um, one with balls, one with um, rats, one involving thieves, um, sun thing, snake thing, and then one in which you throw cards on the floor. Okay, I, I don't know how to do math. I can't count, but I have that many left. Okay, so there will be a next episode, but until then, this is Jared letting you know that you can make funny experience out of virtually anything. Have fun with that, especially if you have a very busy day today, in which case you should be going back to work instead of watching this video. Have a good one, and see you next time.